Greetings everyone, E here. Welcome to another LEGO Hogwarts update. The first update for 2023. Due to reasons out of my control, this video was delayed by about a week, for which I apologize. In the meantime, however, some things have changed in the LEGO Hogwarts castle and I'm here to tell you all about it. First of all, my setup has changed a little bit. I have added some more shelves just behind my working area mainly because I needed to display this train, which uh, when it initially came out, once again, I didn't really feel like it's something worth buying, but uh, the price that I found it for was just too uh, irresistible to pass. And um, it has been a good build and something that uh, actually has exceeded my expectations. Still, this little problem here, how short this is, part of me is now thinking whether I should invest in parts to simply continue this pattern and have the whole uh, kind of station area behind the train. However, although this is not, these pieces are not very uh, different in type and probably shouldn't be too expensive to achieve, kind of feels wrong in a way to invest in parts like that or an overly overpriced set uh, already. Anyway, maybe we'll talk about that some other time. Now, for the uh, Grey Hole itself, it um, the texture hasn't really changed. I will tell you why before uh, I actually move on to what has actually been uh, improved. But I have been working on them quite a bit. I'm just not really ready to show you a finished product and every time I, I'm telling you that if something is not really finished, at least in my mind, uh, I would rather still not um, show it. However, a few little pointers. Now, first of all, I'm, I've been working on the level of the top of the arches here and then the level of the lower side of the window frame. Uh, as you can see, some are still lower, some are higher. Uh, here we have this type of arch. Here we have this slightly different one. But mostly I have been working on how the windows should be. And um, the only problem there was is that the space here is four studs. And when you turn, when, uh, when you turn a brick sideways, it means it consists of a number of plates that doesn't really allow for the window frames to be uh, even because we have three glass panels which all need to be together and uh, together I mean uh, they need to be the same uh, size uh, and if uh, we have only four studs here that means that uh, one of them will probably have to be wider but I have been working on that a lot and I've come to a very I think elegant and interesting way of solving that and all the windows are going to be the same size which is really really something that I am kind of excited about but uh, until all the little logistics are done I would like to hold it back and hopefully uh, at some point soon I'll be able to show you at least this whole side framed properly with the lower section and the windows, the custom made windows. So it should be really great to do maybe next time or the time after that. It all depends on the transparent pieces. Once again, I repeat the uh, one by one uh, trans clear plates, which are so, so expensive. But with this new way of doing it, uh, I've actually managed to decrease the number that I needed from about 7,000 to, let's say, 2,000, which uh, should decrease costs. Still, I'm looking for a best place to buy a lot of them at a decent price. I've not found that place yet, but I will keep looking. And the moment I can do that will probably speed the process dramatically. Now, uh, first thing that's noticeable is the gates i have finally changed the color of the gates uh we've removed the dark tan from here because it wasn't really looking all that great 
and now it's a lot more uh, with this dark brown it it's a lot more um, kind of adequate to the whole uh, design of that comes from the movies now uh, still I'm not sure if it's something that I'm completely happy with I'm exploring perhaps changing these one by twos with um, one by two tiles and then maybe replacing these two by twos with the same ones with a jumper so basically swapping the two um, still the other colors are kind of visible from here because the uh, one by two with both snots on both sides are still not really we, we need about I don't know like 30 I think of them so we can build texture on both sides of the gates and I still to find a good seller that uh, gives kind of offers them at a decent price so the other section still doesn't have a uh, texture the other side of the gates the other thing that I want to show you is here be behind the gates so I'm gonna remove this so we can actually see and now that we've removed this and we've uh, actually have better visibility over here the way that these gates are uh, attached is the same I think this is a good way to have them positioned and attached because they're pretty heavy and this way these kind of frames are not really visible when we put the uh, courtyard module now the other thing is the knights the knights themselves I've replaced if you remember I had all sorts of different weapons on these knights different colors uh, different types of weapons I've decided that I don't really like that instead we've placed uh, these um, identical swords everywhere and I'm gonna combine them with a shield which uh, I think it's pretty nice because the way I have uh, placed the swords in their hands the shield will kind of hide this kind of this side of the sword so they're holding it behind the shield in a very um, emblematic uh, knight pose so I think that would be decent I think that kind of um, improves on the idea of everyone having different weapons uh, it was just a bit too chaotic for my uh, preference I know that variety is always great thing but I think in this situation the them having the same kind of weapon is uh, good enough other than that I think I've mentioned this before or if not forgive me for forgetting I am thinking about adding two more knights one here and one over here we're gonna have a total of 16 a row of four a row of six a row of four and another row of two and I think that's uh, the last actually I hope the last uh, kind of part of doing these knights because I really would hate to go back inside here and do any more um, kind of destruction and having to rebuild stuff again but other than that we will move to over here now let's move on to what actually mainly I have been working on since uh, the last video and I mean namely the extension of the little alleyway that goes around the great hall so I have added two more modules before we had these ones here up to here I believe it was now here it was a bit more complicated and let's get into that now the main thing was this rock work uh, I had to remake it from scratch and the reason behind this was that once we place this whole uh, kind of building on top of a rock mound uh, these plates here will be hidden and there will be a rock kind of uh, bounders here all around this fence and the idea is for this rock to be going from here and the pathway to be above this rock slope and then for the same pattern to continue over here but remember that the most important thing is for all these things to be detachable very easily so you see how the uh, rock work kind of blends together at the same time 
everything here, these rock parts, must not be attached to the other module. So if we lift everything here up, so let's see, we remove this section here. See how the rock work must not be attached to this module. So all three modules need to be uh, separated and not attaching any studs to one another, yet it all needs to blend together when it's put next to each other. So that was really kind of tricky to do and important for my own satisfaction to achieve. Once again, this whole rock work is removable and here is how it looks when everything is detached. So it all kind of fits together when it is in its spot, but other than that, it can be removed. And now the idea for this whole uh, pathway is to continue around the building. Over here, I have extracted this cover because it will have to be remade and I have started on yet another of these little uh, kind of segments. I think another two or three will be plenty enough. The idea is for this to reach all the way here and maybe up to this section here. In a corner, there will be another uh, pathway where it reaches maybe a little entrance here where the grand staircase should be, or maybe it will continue even around it, but probably it will end somewhere around here. We don't want to continue this pattern uh, forever. Uh, that reminds me that uh, probably these trees will be moved in the end because here they just don't really feel like they're at home and they're covering way too much of the building and I feel like it would be a lot better if I end up moving them over here in the corner. Um, either both of them or at least one of them should be placed over here. It will be a much better place for them. Now everything is fit back together and if you don't know that these plates here are removable and that this whole section here is out, uh, formed of three different pieces that are all separate, um, it's really not noticeable at all and that's kind of the point. Now uh, you may notice one figure here and uh, that is a figure of the wife of a subscriber of mine. I have uh, mentioned this before that anyone who wants to be part of the castle with their um, signature minifigure is always welcome to add it. Uh, I already have the um, minifigure of this person right over there and I have believe I believe I have mentioned it before but uh, yeah now uh, his wife uh, has uh, was very eager to uh, be part of this as well and uh, although her initial desire was to be placed in a completely different part of the castle of course that part is still not built so for the time being I have placed her here in the garden uh, performing a spell on this uh, her pet parrot, trying to turn it into something. Of course, if you'd like to be part of the castle with your own minifig, you can always feel free to contact me in my email that you can find on my profile, and I can tell you how this could be done. Uh, I always appreciate when subscribers contact me and uh, are passionate about what I'm doing. So I'm really, really grateful for that. Thank you once again. As for the already existing uh, part of this whole thing, it's all really coming together quite nicely. I have uh, went back a little bit and done minor changes, which were, however, uh, probably not really noticeable to most of you, but uh, are time consuming. Like, for example, changing most of the branches on this tree because we had uh, many green stems on the tree itself but I replaced them with all brown ones and if we zoom in we can probably see that there is no green here whatsoever now. Uh, not really noticeable but at the same time it freed a lot of the pieces to make a lot more flowers which is something else that I have done. I have um, added a lot more flowers all along the pathway and also I have remade them slightly by making them a bit more, let's say I've just added a bit more variety to them. Um, I was really conflicted between 
whether I should make the same pattern flowers all the time, uh, which would make piece uh, intensity a lot easier. However, uh, it would I decided to look a bit kind of um, unappealing if everything everything was exactly the same and we saw rows and rows of flowers with exactly, for example, three yellow uh, petals and then everything else would be the same spot and every piece would be identical. So I decided to make them kind of the same, but chaotically adding a few more colors here and there and the patterns are not always the same. So that kind of brings a little bit more uh, a unique feeling to it when you look for it, uh, when you look at it from afar or even when you zoom in and you kind of examine each flower individually if that's your thing. So I think that kind of adds to the whole immersive feeling of uh, the whole uh, atmosphere. Of course, once again, we have the benches, the braziers over here all along the pathway. Uh, I've added some uh, fairies here and there, some pixies, even a bat here. And if you can, if you zoom in, you can see that there is actually a little uh, home for him behind him. There is a like a hole in the stones where he lives. Uh, I didn't want to make it too big or too visible it's on purpose and obviously try to put some more uh, leaves here and there just to make the rocks a little bit prettier. Now this section here I'm kind of questioning, kind of left it like a um, little bit like this, a bit more simpler, might uh, hide it with something or might just end up replacing it with a bit more complicated rock pattern. Other than that, I feel like this uh, whole detail really improves on the overall look of the building and I am actually really um, excited to finish it and it has been very time consuming effort. Uh, I know it doesn't seem like much has been added since last time, but let me tell you this rock work alone, I already explained the things that I wanted to achieve and having it be all three separate modules. The rock work itself uh, took me almost five hours to do, which I'm really not ashamed to admit. It was a time consuming job. I was uh, focused for about five hours, didn't really go get up for a break really, maybe a uh, bathroom break for five minutes and something like that. But something so small actually in this scale takes a lot of time and care and effort. So. However, it did take so much time. It was actually a lot of fun to do. I really like the whole um, kind of combination of everything, uh, making the little pathway in the stones and then adding the benches, the flowers, the trees, the braziers, everything like that. In the end, I will even add various minifigs who are walking here around the, um, around the great hall. And I feel like it would be uh, even, even greater when uh, all this is finished and the rock work here is um, even complete and the texture of course can't really wait for the texture now that I have done this side here and once uh, all my final pieces are here for the next time I show you it should be at least the framework here on this side should be done uh, completely probably no windows but the uh, whole side here will be with the new texture and I feel like once the whole kind of outside of the building is updated alongside with the flowers and everything else it will really look like something very very appealing even when you zoom out or when you go in and look for individual details. That being said I think that's pretty much all I have for you today. Once again, I would like to thank you for following me, for all your support throughout uh, this uh, year and a half that's uh, passed since I've created this channel. All of your positive and uh, informative comments and feedback is very, very appreciated. So if you would like to keep updated with what's going on, feel free to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, join on Discord for a discussion, or if you have any inquiries, you can always follow me and uh, poke me on my email address that you can find on my profile page. So thank you for watching, stay healthy and I will see you very very soon with more updates, always detailed and always everything that's been changing since the last time will be discussed and will be shown.
on this channel as it is, well, I guess, tradition. See you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.